Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm Gurpal and you're watching Tech Time where there's always time for tech. And today we've got the setup, speed test and review video of the Deco M4 mesh wireless system which we unboxed a few days back. If you haven't seen that video, the link will be in the top right corner of your screen right now. So if you like the content, do subscribe to the channel and also give this video a thumbs up. Watch this video till the end if you're looking to purchase a mesh wireless system for your home. So without waiting any further, let's get started. Let's get started with the setup first. It's really simple. Just connect your Deco unit to the power adapter and also connect the Ethernet cable to your old router with the Deco unit. In the meantime, download the TP-Link Deco app from either the Play Store or the App Store. Since I have it downloaded already, I can just open it up. Just to let you guys know that I have the 300 Mbps connection from Geo at my house and I have two routers on that connection. One is the Geo router and the second one I purchased later on which is dual band 2.4 GHz as well as 5 GHz. So once everything is done, just open the app and select which model of Deco you have. I have the M4 so I'll select that and just keep on pressing next. It will tell you to plug in all your devices, connect everything up. We've already done that so let's proceed. As you can see, the notification light on top of the Deco unit is blinking blue. That means it's ready to be paired up and we can proceed to that. Meanwhile, just to let you know, the Deco M4 is a dual band mesh Wi-Fi system. It supports both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz frequencies, but you can't select which frequency you want to join since it only has one SSID and it automatically connects your device to the best possible frequency. There you go, the app found this particular deco unit. And now we're going to set where it is right now. So it's in my bedroom, so I'm going to select that. Before setting up my Wi-Fi connection, it just asked me a couple of more questions and I just press next. Now just type in your network name and password and that's it, just hit next. While this is being set up, I just wanted to point out the difference between Wi-Fi mesh systems and range extenders, since plenty of people have this question. Well, mesh Wi-Fi systems come with roaming protocols to keep you on the same network, and mesh technologies such as self-healing and adaptive routing to keep your network stable. Range extenders, on the other hand, require you to sign into your new network manually in order to maintain a strong connection once you're far enough away from your main router. Most range extenders are set up under different networks, but with mesh networks, there are no other networks to worry about. While each mesh node essentially functions as its own router, range extenders are merely duplicating the router's original signal. This is exactly why I wanted to get a mesh system for my home. Because with my previous system, I had four distinct networks. Two from the Geo router and two from my other router, which actually caused a lot of issues with all my devices as they kept connecting and disconnecting to different networks. Now that's it. My Deco M4 is now connected to the internet and is the main hub. And now the app will ask me if I want to add another Deco, but we'll do that in the next segment. To add another node to your system is really simple. Just open the app and press the plus sign on the top right corner and just select which model of the node you have. And then just select where you want to place it on the same floor or an additional floor. So I placed it on the same floor and press next. If the notification LED is yellow, that just means that your deco is starting up and we have to wait till it's blue and blinking. Another thing to keep in mind is that this additional node is about 50 feet away from my original hub and there are two concrete walls between my bedroom and the living room. So we'll see how this node performs without actually having a wired backhaul to the main hub. And 
and just to let you guys know that the whole process of setting up the hub takes only about four to five minutes. And if you guys are new here and still haven't seen my other videos, I'd recommend watching the unboxing video of the M4 Deco home mesh Wi-Fi system. The link will be in the top right corner of your screen. And although I bought three pack, I've only actually set up two units as I don't find the need to put in a third one. And that's it. The app's already found the second unit and it will just ask you where you want to put the unit. So this is my living room, so I'll select that option. And it will optimize the network and you'll be good to go. And now for the fun bit, the speed tests. I'll be using Google speed test as I find it to be really accurate. And the first test is going to be in my bedroom where both my hubs are located. As you can see, there is not much of a difference here in my bedroom right now. The upload speed is a shade better on my older router, but that can just be a variation during testing. And now we come to the living room where we can start to see a massive difference in speed between my old system and the new Deco M4. And just FYI, the second router is also located in my living room. So it's a fair comparison between speeds. And now we move on to the first floor. This is actually really far away from both the routers but I'm getting a three bar signal on my Deco M4 and about a one signal on my old router. And you can see there is a huge difference in speed from my old system to the new system. Now we move on to the garden outside my house. This is actually the furthest point where my devices actually connect to both the Deco M4 network as well as my old network and we still see a very significant difference in speed, both in upload as well as download. So yeah, in the speed department, the Deco M4 is much better than my old system. Now let's see additional features within the app. For starters, you can change the name of all the devices connected to your network so that you remember which device is which. As you can see, I already have plenty of devices connected. You can also change basic functions of your network through the Wi-Fi tab, like, like changing your Wi-Fi password or turning guest network on and off. You can also blacklist certain devices that you don't want to connect to your network. To update your Deco system is also really simple. Just click on the Update Deco button and if there's an update available, it will show up. There are also a host of advanced functions that you can mess around with, but I haven't changed anything in here. There is also the option to connect to devices through WPS. The Deco system also has robust parental controls. If you have kids and if you want to control their internet time, you can manage profiles and set time limits. There is also an option to prioritize different devices. So if you have a gaming PC and you want to prioritize that over other devices in your home, you can set that up. You can also generate and view monthly reports. And you can see how many devices connected to your network and how much data they consumed individually. You can also allow other people to actually manage your network through the manager's profile. You can also see which devices are connected to which particular deco. If you press the internet button on the top and select the particular deco you want, and then you will be able to see which devices are connected to that particular one. 
You can also use Google Assistant as well as Amazon Alexa to give commands to your Deco. Since I have a lot of Google Assistant devices, I'm going to use that and give you an example. Hey Google, turn on guest Wi-Fi. All right, enabling the guest Wi-Fi on two things. Hey Google, turn off guest Wi-Fi. Okay, disabling the guest Wi-Fi on two things. Now for the verdict, should you buy one? Well, firstly, if you have a big home, or if you have multiple devices, or if you are plagued with the same issue that I had of multiple networks and constantly disconnecting devices, then absolutely you should buy one. That's it for this video guys. If you enjoyed it, click the like button and also subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we post a new video. Follow Tech Time on social media where we post regular updates on the latest tech developments. Our social media handles will be in the description. Ask me any questions regarding the Deco M4 mesh Wi-Fi system in the comments below and I will try and answer them. If you would like to purchase the Deco M4, links will be in the description. I'm Gurpal, you've been watching Tech Time. See you guys in the next one.